Yonder stands a cottage deserted and alone. Its paths are neglected with grass overgrown. Go in and you will see some dark stains on the floor. Alas, it is the blood of fair Fanny Moore. To Fanny so blooming, two lovers they came. One offered young Fanny his wealth and his name. But neither his money nor pride could secure a place in the heart of fair Fanny Moore. The first was young Randall, so bold and so proud, who to the fair Fanny his haughty head bowed. But his wealth and his house both failed to allure the heart from the bosom of fair Fanny Moore. The next was young Henry of lowest degree. He won her fond love and enraptured was he. And then at the altar he quickly did secure the hand with the heart of fair Fanny Moore. As she was alone in her cottage one day, when business had called her fond husband away, young Randall the haughty came in at the door and clasped in his arms the fair Fanny Moore. Oh, spare me, oh, spare me, the young Fanny cries, while tears swiftly flow from her beautiful eyes. Oh, no, cries young Randall, go home to your rest. And he buried his knife in her snowy white breast. So Fanny, so blooming, in her bright beauty died. Young Randall, the haughty, was taken and tried. At length he was hung on a tree at the door. For shedding the blood of fair Fanny Moore. Young Henry the shepherd, distracted and wild, did wander away from his own native fire, till at length, claimed by death, he was brought to this shore and laid by the side of fair Fanny Moore.